Hi, welcome back to the Deborah Peters Show. I apologize for my lengthy absence. It's been an incredible last few months and lots of changes have taken place on my end that uh, honestly I just really needed some time to navigate my way through. And with that said, oftentimes I get asked, are you a life coach? And the answer is no, but it's a soft no, because really I'm a business accelerator. I help companies scale. And to do that, you have to work with the individuals that are making the decisions in the companies. And so working with individuals means getting into their thinking system, getting into their patterns of beliefs, getting into their resistance around receiving. And so yes, I suppose there is an element to life, if you will, in terms of working with the leadership team of an organization and enabling them to scale to the next level and the next level, etc. The thing is this, this is an unprecedented time in history. Humanity is going through some really incredible shifts and you can go ahead and you can do some research online and you can get some better understanding around what's taking place vibrationally on the planet. Um, and so I won't go into that now, but I do want to say that it's actually a breaking down of the status quo meaning it's a disintegration of our old structures, our old perceptions, our um, connection into how we move through time, space, and matter. And that makes a direct impact on your business growth. It has a direct impact on the level of clients that you attract that has a direct impact on the level of team members that you bring into your realm that are representing your organization. And so, yes, there is this massive shift going on right now. And business owners are, well, there's one of two things happening. You're either riding the wave and you're staying into a higher level of consciousness where you have so much opportunity coming at you that you're not really sure how you're going to manage it all and keep all the balls in the air. Or you're in this place of resistance and you're not enjoying the ride whatsoever. And so that brings up all sorts of things like fear and doubt and lack and limitation. Either way, at the end of the day, it is all about resistance and we are being asked right now as a collective to do two things simultaneously. It's not an either or, it's an and. And so it's about letting go of resistance and letting go of that resistance is in direct relationship to our ability, our willingness to receive. Because it's the resistance to receiving that is really causing the impact in the growth in your business. Now that could show up in a variety of ways. It might show up as a, a lack of communication. It might show up as a lack of, a lack of productivity. Um, and, and it may show up as all systems are go, but yet things aren't getting executed on in a timely, effective fashion. So here we are. It's, uh, it's the last part of 2019. And as we roll into 2020, I can tell you now from my vantage point, things are really, really different in 2020. And even though it's just a flip of the calendar on a energetic level because everything is energy your energy i'm energy our clients are energy our products and services are energy everything is comes from energy everything is generated from nothing 
It starts out as a thought, an emotion, turns into a goal, a plan, um, key partners, key resources, execution. So all of these things really start from a place of energy that then gets formulated into a tangible reality. So when I'm working with an organization, I'm coming from that place. And perhaps that's why some folks get confused and they think I'm a life coach. You see, there's consultants and there's coaches that just come from a mental mind perspective. Uh, what's different and unique about the work that I do and the offerings that we have is it's really about connecting your head to your heart and getting into a place of being guided. So not everything is a step-by-step -step plan. I actually find those to be quite limiting. I find step-by-step -step plans to uh, be confining and they basically squeeze out all of the possibilities of making quantum shifts, making large leaps in growth and, and receiving and profitability and happiness and fulfillment and all of those things that go along with that. So with the year coming to a close, this is what I want you to really start to consider is what is your receivability level? What is your quotient on receivability? You know, we, we talk a lot about emotional intelligence. I remember when that first came on the scene and it was like this foreign concept, kind of like coaching was a foreign concept outside of the sports world. And so, so emotional intelligence was, was like, wow, that's really cool, but what is that? And now we hear it coming from everyone's lips. And so I'm gonna up the ante on that. I wanna take you into another realm. It's really your spiritual quotient. It's your ability to connect with you. It's your willingness to get yourself into alignment on a consistent basis and to not, to not go ripping around and forcing things to happen, trying to make things work, but to actually take the time and to get into alignment on a daily basis so that you're coming from a place that is connecting your head to your heart. And that's how you show up in your company every day. That's how you show up to your team every day and have the wisdom and the self-awareness that as the day comes at you, because we're dealing with other people's energies all the time, as the day comes at you, as your team goes through issues, as your clients go through issues, whatever the case is, that you have the wherewithal, first of all, the, the self-awareness to stop for a second and hit the reset button. And then you have the wherewithal to actually hit that reset button and then re-engage back into the day from a newly aligned state. You know, we don't have to have Monday to start over. We don't have to have morning to begin fresh. We can do that at any time throughout the day. And if a relationship is going sideways, if a project is not getting the lift that you would like, then you can hit that reset button and you can take your team with you and you can elevate the conscious awareness around what it takes to receive more with greater ease. And in that essence, you actually step beyond the resistance. So back in the day when I first started engineering people's patterns, and I did all these personal breakthrough sessions and couples coaching and executive coaching, and you know, pretty much run the gamut. And the end of the day, it's just neuroscience, right? It's just repatterning whether you're repatterning yourself, you're in your relationship with your spouse or repatterning your, your team's response to shifts in the marketplace, whatever the key is, it's, it's really about 
understanding that you do create your own reality and even though there may seem like there are there are external forces that are determining things for you it's actually the vibration that you're projecting with from within that is drawing those kinds of circumstances to you so as we as we do an annual strategic planning session as we develop your company's scalability yes i always take it to that place of who are you being and and then how are you taking ownership of that beingness as a leader as the thought leader in your business as the the ceo or the managing director of your company how are you actually taking that forward and guiding and leading from a place of alignment rather than from a place of lack, limitation, struggle, confusion, thinking that there's, there's external forces that are deciding how much you're going to grow this year or looking at what the government's doing or what the economy is doing or what the stock market is doing. You're being invited now as we close out 2019 to raise yourself up and above these concepts because they are just, they're actually constructs and they're constructs that have been made to, to reach certain ends for certain interest groups. And if you choose to subscribe to them, then you end up being influenced, controlled, and dominated by, by those constructs. So just like on an email um, list or, or you, know, you have that opportunity to hit the unsubscribe button, what's happening right now for company leaders especially is you're being invited to unsubscribe to your own thinking process to your own perceptions of reality and certainly to unsubscribe to the projections that you project onto your team, onto your clients, onto your relationships in total. And when you decide to unsubscribe from those external forces, then you actually set yourself free and you unsubscribe from your old limiting concepts of who you are and what your potential is and what your possibilities are and what it takes to actually step up into that next level of awareness, thriving, su succeeding, growth, expansion, or, or just simply fulfillment. You know, the joy of, hey, I get to go and do what I do today. Not a have to, not I got to go do this, but I get to. So there's a level of appreciation that comes into the fold on this that really works like magic, you know? It's gratitude on a whole other level. Because gratitude has inherent in it this sense of, um, wow, I'm grateful because I, I moved away from that thing that was holding me back or that thing that doesn't work or that uncomfortable life or or, or those low numbers or whatever it is into a place of appreciation and appreciation is just pure love it's just it's just pure so when you're in that space of appreciation then it's like the portals to the higher states of consciousness open and ideas thought patterns people resources just roll through the door to give you what it is that you're asking for in, in order to enable your organization to take it to the next level. And when you're functioning at that level, when you're, when you're actually working in that space, then that's when it's all just truly a joy. Because that is really what work should be. Work really should be a joy getting out of bed in the morning and going, wow, I get to go do what I'm gonna do today. I get to work with these people, I get to serve these clients, I get to 
expand this company. I get to, I get to, I get to, I get to, because you are in charge of what you do every day. Nobody else. And even if you think it's your boss or you, you think it's your shareholders, it's really you. And so it's time right here, right now, as we close out 2019 to make some very significant conscious choices about what it is that you're creating for you. Because when we shift that calendar and we go into the new year, as January starts to roll itself out, you're gonna be caught up in some very major changes. And if you're not prepared for it, then it's gonna look like failure. It's gonna look like struggle. It's gonna look like destruction. And it doesn't have to be that way. So it's cool time. It's a really great time to be on the planet. It's a wonderful time to be in business. Your business is being of service to others. It's being of service to the planet. It's being of service to humanity. And it's, it's realizing that through those connections and through that awareness that you are really seriously, significantly making a difference in this world. You have to know that. And when you show, show up every single day and you realize that you get to make a difference in the lives of others, whether it's one person or thousands of people in your organization, then you really have hit your stride. And that's what the closeout of 2019 is all about. And that's why you should give me a ring, shoot me an email, and let's talk about your 2020 annual strategic planning process and get you on the calendar. So thank you so much for tuning in and, and for all you guys that have subscribed to my channel and are on my social media following me. I've been getting messages from you asking when my next video is. And um, so thank you for that prompting. It's been on my mind. I just took some time for me over the summer to seriously hit the reset button on Deborah Peters and who I'm being with me. And uh, so it's full steam ahead and it's absolutely my pleasure to bring this to you. And so keep tuning in, keep sharing, and I'll have a whole lot more content for you. So thank you for being a part of my life and I look forward to working with you and your team very, very soon. Have a great day. Ciao.